Greetings folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Fansets video. It's been a while, but the good folks at Fansets sent me over some pins to have a look at. And uh, I've been itching to uh, get a moment to put them in a video for you folks as well. Um, I have a good few Fansets videos already, and I'll link them in the description, the playlist for them. But for those who are new to the channel or are unfamiliar with Fansets, they're, um, they're an amazing uh, company, number one. They have their hands in some fantastic franchises. Uh, Star Trek is but one. And um, they do an amazing array of uh, collectible pins. From Micro Crew that I'm going to show you in this to special pins such as the We Are Starfleet to their Micro Fleets, their Star Trek Discovery pins, their uh, series sets and uh, a whole load of um, collectible series as well around TNG conventions and such like that. Now, they've graciously provided this, uh, these pins for me to review, but again, my opinions are my own. There's no other kind of uh, background going on there, and so just for transparency, but I love, I, I love these pins. I wear them to conventions. I've worn them in videos as well. But, um, I've got a few to show you, so stay tuned, get something to, uh, get a nice beverage there to relax, and um, let's have a look at these. And I'll give you some details along the way as well, but I will link their website down below that um, if you want to get, um, what I would say, an affordable collectible, something that you want to kind of honor your favorite franchise, or just wear it at a convention or a party or anything like that, um, they may be a good step for you to check out. So, the pin that we have here, is the We Are Starfleet pin. Um, I love this. It reminds me of the Star Trek Discovery pin that they released as well. Um, it's about one and a half inches by two inches. So it's, it's, it's around the kind of size of their micro uh, crew pins. Um, now that's approximate, that's just me measuring. I'm not going, I don't have calipers. I should get a calipers actually, but I digress. But um, it has the Star Trek Discovery Delta with the Discovery font, and again, that iconic phrase, we are Starfleet. So I, I just, I love it. And as you can see, it's of great quality. It's relatively, it's not too thick, but it's thick that it has that uh, heftiness to it. And it's got a nice imprint on the back with just some um, print details there as well. You have two points of attachment on there with the, rib the rubber um, protectors that you come off and put them on the underside of your clothes as well. So that's going to kickstart our uh, fan sets um, little video here. So let's check out the next one, shall we? This one I absolutely adore. The Tiboli Go pin. So again, where no one or no man has gone before, depending on your franchise. I'm a big fan of no one. But um, yeah, the iconic, the original series. Um, this pin, it's around two and a quarter inches by 1.5 inches, just a little over 1.5, I think. Um, like the We Are Starfleet, this is coming in around uh, just under $11, so $10.95. Um, again, I'm putting all the prices here in dollars as well, so do check out. You, you'll see that they'll uh, price accordingly, as far as I remember, or you know, just use a currency converter. Um, so this has one of the one of the iconic ship pass throughs that you would have seen in TOS on you know an old style cathode ray tube TV again before the era of remotes even as well. Um, this sits nicely with some of their other collectibles as well that they've done honoring um, the original series. They've done some convention exclusives and stuff like that as well. But uh, I just think this is a real. This is just a nice decorative piece, let alone a cool pin as well. So the Tiboli Go pin. Let me know what you think in the comments below as well. So let's check out some of their micro crew pins, shall we? To do a cheeky reveal, you don't know what they are yet, but you will soon. Here we have Tom Paris from Star Trek Voyager and we have Ensign Tilly from Star Trek Discovery. So I'm going to add these into my already building micro fleets um collection micro crew collection even so these guys are on average around two inches by one inch and two points of a uh, i would say mounting i'm sure there's a, a technical term for that but y you know what i mean so again when you're wearing the mouse they're pretty secure in there as well you get the nice texture print on the back again all of their pins 
are decently thick without being too thick so you have a good build quality in there as well and just again the detail they're unmistakable uh who the crew are and um just the quality of paint is uh, i think they're going to be long lasting pieces to be honest with you um these guys a little bit cheaper uh they're 6.95 dollars so again you know kind of going to the affordable side of things now maybe not for everybody but you know when you look at the the scheme of things a lot of the collectibles for franchises can be very expensive and um i just think this could be do i use the word gateway <laughs> but just again an option for you folks as well so tom paris and ensign tilly who's a fan of voyager and who's a fan of discovery let me know in the comments below let's check out two more micro crew shall we again i'm going to do the cheeky reveal you don't know who they are but we have two iconic characters two awesome klingon women we have lursa and bator um I, I'm so delighted I have these, to be honest with you, especially uh, with the very sad news of Barbara Marsh passing on the 11th of August. Uh, Barbara played uh, Lursa, and, um, you know, throughout the series, you know, Deep Space Nine, TNG, um, they, they, they were formidable characters, and um, I, just, I just like their representation here and to have them as a pair. Um, they're available singly, uh, obviously. Again around the two inch by one inch in dimensions and 695 as well for those who are looking for those types of details um just like the previous micro crews the detail is nice the paint applications are good again decent quality good build and um i know there'd be a lot of fans out there and it's just yeah it's it's you know it, it's sad that barbara um passed and again so young unfortunately but um it, it is what it is, unfortunately, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy to now have um, both their characters um, immortalized in pins here that can add into my crew collection. So that wraps up the crew pins I have. Um, I have a couple of the micro fleet pins, which are among my favorite in the fan sets collection. So let's check them out, shall we? So here we have the USS Enterprise uh, from 2009. So this is the JJ Universe uh, imagining off the the iconic ship that is the us enterprise um these pins like the initial pins that we saw earlier on in the video are 1095 uh, about 2.5 inches by kind of this one's just under the two inch if memory serves um i love the micro fleets um i have a good few of them uh, i'm happy to say and i just love the the, the poses that um fan sets have the ships in you know and again it's almost akin to like a mission badge as well but they're fine size uh fine uh, craftsmanship in there as well um i've never had any issues with the paint on these guys at all um i think they'd be well wearing but it, you, you're going to look after these i know you are because these are going to be precious little items for you for sure um you have your texture back your two points of um securing them onto your you know your garments and such or if you want to put them in a display case as well so uh yeah that's going to kickstart our micro fleets so let's check out the next one so here we have k7 space station yes the i think very familiar space station especially for star trek fans for sure um it's a lovely design again this is following the the micro fleet tradition and fan sets as well nice pose i love the way again they look like mission patches but the ships kind of and the stations jump out beyond the traditional form factor that you can see here in front of us you have your textured back your two points of uh, mounting and again you're looking at around two and a half inches by two inches with this one and again you're following the tradition of around uh, 1095 dollars uh, good bold red and um, I just like the little patches of stars um, on these as well but uh, yeah it's pretty cool I'm, I'm really happy with this one but uh, we have two more to go, so let's get a move on, shall we? We have the formidable Vorcha class Klingon attack cruiser. Uh, I love this ship. I, uh, an amazing ship. I remember seeing it um, as a youth when watching TNG as well. And um, I'm glad we have it because uh, it's not the only Klingon ship um, that we have in the kind of uh, micro fleets. Um, we have the sarcophagus. And we have a little bit of Romulan and Borg in there as well. 
but the Vorcha, come on, has to be in there. Again, you're looking at around two inches by around the kind of one point, well not one point, one and three quarter inches um, in size. Um, I love the kind of sharp angular type of this one. So you can kind of see, you know, we've seen kind of circular patches, uh, but I like this. And then again, the detailing in the back of it as well, almost kind of like, you know, it's just transitioned out of like cloaking. And um, one thing that I don't think I've mentioned in the past uh, ship uh, micro fleet badges is you have the little kind of insignia. So again, you know, the Federation or in this instance, you have the Klingon and they're generally era specific as well, which is just a nice little attention to detail. Build quality is there. Paint is spot on without any blemishes. You have good uh, mounting on it as well. So for display cabinets or for your garments and such like that as well. But uh, real cool, a really, really nice badge. So we're gonna wrap it up with one more. So who can guess what it is? Let me know in the comments below if you get it right. Last but not least, we have the classic, the iconic, one of my favorite ships. It's the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 refit, the ship that we saw debuted uh, at the beginning of Star Trek, the motion picture. Fan sets have it in, I think, a real iconic pose as well. It's within its uh, dry dock. So when we had that lovely cinematic, you know, slow pass with Scotty and Kirk, I think this is just like a, like a, a capturing the moment. I love the way the ship is kind of jumping out of the pin. I like the blue and, uh, you know, there's a lot of detail, but it's not over the top as well. Um, quality is spot on, just like we've seen with all the other micro fleet ships. Um, you're looking at around two and a half inches by two inches in size. You have your two attachment points on the back there, your uh, standard fan sets textured back. Again, the quality is there. It's just a really, really cool pin. And um, I just think it's a nice one to end on. And uh, I'm just curious to know, let me know in the comments below what you think of uh, the pins that I've shown you on this video between the you know, we are Starfleet to Bowley Gold, the crew pins to the, the micro fleet pins, um, which one kind of stands out and jumps out. Um, if you're so inclined, do uh, check out their website. The link is in the doobly-doo. Um, you can reach out to them via Twitter and um, Facebook as well, and they're also on Instagram. Um, as I said earlier in the video, these pins were sent to me for review purposes, so I really appreciate and uh, thank you much, thank you very much, fan sets, for allowing me to make content for my viewers uh, that I think that they'd like. And uh, yeah, I just think it's uh, they're really just they're just a really friendly, cracking company, you know. Um, so do um, at least say hello from Irish Trekking. <laughs> um, on that note as well, um, I'm not going to say too much now, but there will be a video. Another fan sets video coming up in the near, near future that I don't think you'll want to miss. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're not new and you're a subscriber, hit that notification bell as well. You're not going to want to miss this video. I don't want to, I don't want to hype it up, but I just think knowing you fine folks watching this, I think you're going to like it. Um, but it'll be in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So uh, exciting times. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. So I hope you enjoyed your beverage. Uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to sit down and watch this little video with me. And um, as always, have a good rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.